third eye storytelling here introducing a series of my own a personal survival guide to the Commonwealth in Fallout 4. Now this isn't going to be a walkthrough of the missions because there are plenty of those already. Uh, I know this because I've had to use them if I get into a bit of trouble. Um, this is more of tips, tricks, do's, and do nots for the Commonwealth. And for this one, I want to start it off with a bang using heavy weapons. <laughs> now, this uh, would fall under the weapons of the rocket launchers, landmines, grenades, the fat man, and the big boy if you have it. And if you don't, I highly suggest getting it. Um, anyway, so to start off, when using the rocket launcher, which is definitely up there, whenever I go and uh, buy ammunition, it's one of the first things I grab are some rockets because I always carry it around with me. Uh, never be afraid to get a little creative. If your enemy is off in the distance, in a small, confined, little vehicle, like an RV. Don't be afraid to be the sniper far off in the distance. Because even if that rocket misses the body, it's still going to do enough damage. is not in a small confined area and you're still off in the distance trying to be the sniper that you want to be my biggest do not is do not aim for the body if they're off in the distance because that doesn't end well <laughs> All you do is waste ammo. What you want to do, or what I do, and what I'm sure many other people have already figured out, is aim for the legs, aim close to the ground, uh, because if it misses, you know, that explosion is still going to do enough to take out your enemy. <laughs> Even better, if you aim low to the ground and, you know, you're, the enemy you're aiming at in VATS, even if it's not in VATS, aiming low to the ground will still take out any enemy that's around the person you're aiming at. <laughs> Even if it takes more than one rocket. <laughs> Even if it takes more than one. Because, you know, there's armor out there that's really good. Anyway. <clears throat> Back 
to the correct topic. One thing you don't want to do with your rocket launcher, or grenades, or landmines, fat man, one thing you really don't want to do is, if an enemy is charging at you, like let's say a suicide super mutant, uh, know the distance, don't use your rocket launcher if they're charging at you. As you can see, it does not end very well. Um, however, you know, there are certain situations where, you know, you can still get away with that, but if a super mutant's carrying a mini nuke, odds are a double explosion isn't going to go well with your character. <laughs> um, even with, even with landmines, one thing you really want to do is, you know, if you're in a small, if you yourself and your enemy are both in a small confined area, you want to know your surroundings don't get too close to the landmines that you put down because if you're too close when your enemy trips them off it still doesn't end well Even, even if you survive the blast, that enemy can still be coming at you. Um, one thing I've learned is having the correct combination um, is also very important. Because there are times when it doesn't end well. Um, because, you know, when it does work, so it's, it's magical when it does work. Now, if you're like me, and you carry your fat man around as well, I mean, I know mini nukes are very rare to come by, but there are just certain situations that I come across, like when I'm hunting Kellogg, or the first time you go and kill the Institute Courser, uh, it's very difficult uh, dealing with with a battle second time around, especially if you have to sit through a long conversation the first time around, uh, and then the first thing they do is put, or, you know, they put a stealth boy on, it's, it's too much, so I like to walk into a room with my fat man and just set it off. Uh, 
another good reason why I carry a fat man around all the time is because there are plenty of death claws out there. And if, if it comes to the point where you cannot outrun them, you might want a mini nuke with you. <laughs> because it, if it, does, it doesn't kill them right away, but it at least uh, evens the playing field. Now, as far as grenades go, um, you know, they're very easy, easy to take out uh, raiders with, you know, if, you know, you got some guys shooting on you, shooting at you from a rooftop. Um, who cares about accuracy, right? Just throw a grenade up there and the job's done. <laughs> One final thing, however, that I will leave this with because there are a lot of things in Fallout 4 that come to choice. In the end, <laughs> I decided to go with the Brotherhood because I used them for a lot of things just before getting into the Institute anyway.